Oklahoma State represented the Big 8 Conference as its champion in the East Regional in Baltimore, Maryland. The fourth-seeded Cowboys opened with a 73-49 whipping of Drexel. Reeves, Rutherford, and Pierce combined for 50 points, and the OSU defense held Drexel to 25% shooting to advance to the second round against number 20 Alabama, the fifth seed. This contest marked a string of tough assignments for Reeves. He was matched against athletic Antonio McDice in this one. Reeves was solid throughout, scoring 26 points. Rutherford and Roberts combined for 28 points, and the Cowboys posted an impressive 66-52 win. Reeves got the best of Wake Forest Tim Duncan in the first game at East Rutherford. But the play of Roberts, Rutherford, Scare, Owens, and Collins helped OSU rally from a six-point deficit with eight minutes left to advance with a thrilling 71-66 win over the Deacons. Rutherford's two pressure free throws, Collins' slam off an Owens and Reeves steal, both in the game's last 20 seconds, turned out to be the final difference. Talented UMass stood between the Cowboys and the final four. Again, the spotlight focused on the big men. Reeves and Marcus Camby of UMass. Reeves took Camby and his teammates to school as he scored 24 points and pulled down 10 rebounds. Rutherford added 19 and Pierce 12 as OSU won 68-54. UMass shot just 27% from the field. A 22-6 run by the Cowboys midway through the second half opened up some breathing room and a 10-0 spurt over the last two minutes put the game away. The Cowboys returned from East Rutherford in the wee hours of the morning. What they found in Gallagher Iba Arena upon their return was simply amazing. Well, I'm not sure uh, that I have ever seen uh, fans react so positive uh, to a group of young men as our fans did this year when we won the Big 8 uh, tourney championship and then each stop along the way uh, as we uh, advanced in the NCAA. Uh, they greeted us when we returned and they greeted us when we departed to go to the next side and it was uh, very inspirational I think for our entire ball club. The Cowboys whipped top seed and third ranked Wake Forest and number two seed and seventh ranked UMass to win a berth in the final four. They played like true warriors in East Rutherford. Wake Forest, no timeouts left. And they don't have any fouls to give, and he loses the ball. Oh, at the other end, ball. Collins! And the Oklahoma State Cowboys, the fourth seed, out of the big end are in the round of eight. 20 seconds remaining before the trip is made from Stillwater to Seattle. They were one of the giants of college basketball back in the 40s and 50s under Henry Ivan. And now a graduate of Oklahoma State, Eddie Sutton, has brought his team back to the Final Four. It was off to Seattle and a Final Four meeting with top-ranked UCLA. The Cowboys' first appearance in the Final Four since 1951. When we got to Seattle, uh, there's no doubt that uh, we were the, uh, the hometown favorites. And uh, when Bryant Reeves uh, broke that backboard, which I think was his third one to crack uh, in his career here at Oklahoma State, and you had about 29,000 people out there at the Kingdome, uh, all of a sudden, you realize that uh, we were the, the Cinderella team. We were special, and uh, uh, had we won, then I think that uh, we would have gone down in history maybe as one of the most popular teams, uh, excluding the, the people that root for their own ball club. I, I really think that Bryant Reeves and uh, his senior class and uh, entire ball club caught the imagination of the country. The Cowboys took the national champion Bruins to the wire. When Rutherford drilled a three with two and a half minutes left, the Cowboys trailed just 62-61. Reeves sparked a valiant effort against a UCLA team that had been ranked among the nation's best all year long. Too often the head coach is given too much credit uh, when you do have a season like uh, we just finished. Uh, and not enough times uh, are the assistants given enough credit. Uh, you know, I've been very blessed 
throughout my coaching career and having outstanding assistant coaches, and it's no different this year when you look at uh, Paul Graham and Randall Dickey and Corey Williams and uh, Sean, I think all of them did a marvelous job uh, in helping put this ball club uh, in the Final Four. Well, I don't think uh, you can ever measure what uh, reaching the Final Four has done for the state of Oklahoma, for OSU, and for uh, our basketball program. Uh, I think everyone that uh, was privileged to make that journey with us, uh, it'll be a memory that we'll uh, long remember. Uh, I think it's something special, and when I think of all the great teams and great coaches that have never had a team get to the Final Four, then I think one day when we're, we reflect back, uh, we'll say, gosh, this was a very special season. The Cowboys came oh so close to winning their third NCAA basketball championship in 94-95. It was indeed a special season, a rewarding season, a memorable season. It was one that ended with a hard-nosed, confident, talented bunch of Cowboys and all their loyal fans standing on top of the world.